So welcome everybody. Welcome to um, Energy Play Shop number 24. So today is November the 3rd, 2022. The topic for this evening is really a continuation from last week about um, clearing the root chakra. So it's more about uh, root chakra clearing. And uh, in more in specific, I want to talk about money. So it's kind of talking about the um, spirit of money as it relates to root chakra issues. So um, I'm just going to mute some first. So um, I'm just going to share the... Let's see, I'm just going to share the, um, okay, what is this? Okay, this can, uh, okay, let me just shrink this. Can. So the agenda for this evening, so I'm going to do a presence meditation and then talk a little bit more or, or kind of a very brief review of what the root chakra is about. And then we'll start to go into what is um, the topic for this evening. It's really about the spirit of money and also about why we are here because these, as far as I'm concerned, these are all very much related to root chakra. So all of this. So before I continue to go into the presence meditation, I just want to give everybody an opportunity to ask questions, anything that you want to ask last week. If not, then we will um, go into the presence meditation before we start this week's topic then. So let's just take a moment to take a deep breath in, just breathe in very deeply. And then slowly let your breath go. And then take another deep breath in. Allow yourself to breathe in as much as possible to fully inflate your lungs. And then just start to slowly let go of your breath. And then breathe in one more time. Just breathe in as much as you can, fill your lungs completely. And when you can breathe in no more, then start to slowly release your breath. And continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. Breathing in deeply and then slowly releasing. And each time as you breathe in, call back all of your own energy. Just as you breathe in, just also set the intention to call back all of your attention, all of your energies to yourself. And as you breathe out, let go of any tensions, let go of any thoughts that may be preoccupying you in this moment and simply allow yourself to just get to a more centered and grounded state of mind.
So breathe in to call back all of your own attention. Because during the day, we have work to do, people to see, places to go, and our attention is more outward focusing in this moment for the presence meditation. Call back all of your attention, all of your energy to yourself so that you're only focusing on right here, right now, within yourself. And really allow yourself to feel that all of you is in your body again. All of your attention, all of your energies, all parts of, your, of yourself back inside your body. Be absolutely selfish. Focus on yourself in this moment. Just be here now for you. No one else, just for you. And when you hold that intention, you most likely would actually feel more solid. More of you are right here with you, within yourself. And also when you feel that, when you feel that you're more solid within yourself, then set the intention that you want to also connect with the highest frequency version of yourself, of your soul, beyond space time, the, the most highest frequency that you, of you that you have access to in this moment. Call that version of you in and be connected with that version of yourself. And really allow that version of yourself to guide yourself, to assist you in coming back to yourself and to take in and be more present to the rest of this energy play shop. And when you feel that you have that connection and that you are all here, then you can open your eyes and come all the way back into the room. And welcome back, everybody. So the first thing I want to um, go, go to is really just a very, very quick review a high level review of what we talked about last week. So root chakra clearing. So what is what really is the root chakra? The root chakra is really our connection to this reality, meaning this to Mother Earth, to this playground called, that we call the Mother Earth. And it's also our connection to all of the resources that's available to us while we are playing here. And that also means that our chakra is how we um, are connected and, and um, playing with the, the matrix that is um, the, the matrix of Mother Earth, because each planet has a matrix. And the matrix is really the, the way that we as a an energetic being and also as a physical being come together in the same place. And that's how we enter this playground that we call it Earth. So Earth used to have some more than one matrix. So there is a an inverted matrix and there's also the organic matrix. So I actually talked about the difference between the two 
and the hallmark of the false matrix is really disconnection and the hallmark or the, the really um, strong characteristics for the organic matrix is really oneness. And that when we come back to the organic matrix, then we start to remember that we are all just one and we are playing together even though we may have different bodies, but in spirit, we are all simply a part of one creator. So the next, so to lead into the continuation of the root chakra clearing is what has money got to do with this? So, so what has money got to do? Whoops. What has money got to do with this? Um, so let me actually, um, so what has money got to do with this? First is that our relationship with money in this moment right now, for most of us, I'm not saying everyone has to be, but for most of us, our relationship with money is really very much, um, colored by the, the the false matrix so which means that it's money in the inverted matrix is all about um disconnection is all, it emphasizes the disconnection and when we are disconnected with one another and when we are disconnected with um the resources that earth actually has for us then we feel this, this sense of lack. So, so what do I mean by that? In that money, my understanding of money is that it's only, um, money is really a, how shall I put it? A symbol or a, uh, the material manifestation of a much, much bigger, um, idea behind it so for me money actually is it's about resources it's about how we can when we have money then we actually would be able to do the things that we're here to do we we can live um, under a, a decent place we can have food we can have a car to drive or take um, a bus to or a plane to go and visit other places. We can, if we want to have businesses, then we can actually go and create the businesses or whatever it is that we dream of to, to um, experience in this playground. So that's all the resources. And um, within the inverted matrix, all of this, they, they actually created money. So, and bit by bit started to limit all of these resources within Mother Earth that is um, free. So what do I mean by that? Um, there are sunshine so sunshine is free and um, rain so water is actually free however there are people now uh, i won't name i won't name any particular company that they actually buy naturally free water and then um, bottle it and then sell it back to us and it is actually some some of the bottled water they cost, um, it's getting more and more expensive. And things, something as simple as sunshine, which can actually create energy and electricity. However, um, there are companies that you know, create all of these and they charge us for the, the use of the electricity. And so that's how, the, the resources that is, the natural resources that, for example, like lumber, like trees, 
um, in, in the forest. It's all actually just, most of the trees, or, or I, I, I shouldn't say most of the trees, but there are trees in the forest that no one actually planted it. They, would, they, they actually were there just um, because that's provided by nature. However, there are uh, certain groups of people that decided to say, okay, this piece of land is mine. And if you want to use it or anything that, that, that grows on it or comes from it, then you have to pay money for it. So, so bit by bit, everything that is actually supposedly naturally free and available for the human collective to create, to um, be able to um, make things out of and use as resources to create the experience that we want to have on this planet and on, that we are playing on has gradually over time become something that we have to pay money so everything is is has to cost us so rather than making living on earth and being able to play on earth and a free um <coughs> enterprise is that it becomes and now becomes something that we have to pay more and more and more as time goes on so this is really part of the inverted matrix. It's not really within the organic matrix because organic matrix is about oneness. Um, it actually emphasizes love and abundance because no one owns anything. We are all here as playmates. There is really no one that is above or beyond anyone else. We all come here to play. However, um, within the inverted 3D matrix, we have come to promote separation and disconnection so much more than that we have created hierarchies. We have created people that have a lot of money that actually owns more and more things. And then also, um, there are people that don't have anything. So this is all the part of the, the, the inverted matrix. I'm not suggesting that that's something that is bad or, uh, or that it is evil. I'm just saying that within the inverted matrix, that's what we played with. And we are in the process of letting that go now. So that's why I want to talk about the I'll talk about money as as it relates to um, our root chakra because our root chakra is really our connection to the resources of Mother Earth, and when we are moving out of the inverted matrix and we're going back to the organic matrix, then. These are some of like all of the ideas that we have about money as it pertain to ability, our ability to create the experience that we want to have on earth. That has to shift as well as so that we can actually be more integrated with the organic matrix. So um, any questions so far? Okay, great. So I'm gonna continue then, continue to talk about. So um, money is really, I remember in Elia Benz, I think it was um, very recently, maybe not this week, but maybe last week or maybe two weeks ago, she came out with a, uh, a blog post and also a, a video as well about that money is really the ability to do. And, and I really resonated with that. Money is the ability to do, the abil ability to do things. And um, we also, a lot of people have mentioned that money is energy. So what is energy and the ability to do? It's really a resource. 
because when we have resource, when we have energy, then we can do things. Do what kind of things? Create the experience that we want. So when we don't have enough, when we feel that we don't have enough money or that being able to um, earn enough money and, and, and get enough money in order to pay for our living expenses, then that really is um, the, the evidence that it's really the inverted matrix that we are still under that, um, like all that belief system in the in, inverted matrix. So that is something that we are starting to, or it's, it's really our job to let that go. So um, I remember, let's see, about how long ago? A year and a half, at least a year and a half, maybe even two years ago, I had, um, there was one night that um, the Pleiadians showed up. Um, I, I was still, uh, maybe about, I, I was actually still living in the old house and the Pleiadians showed up and they, they actually, um, gave me a transmission they, they trans and and their words before they gave me that that download was that um they they want me to experience the spirit of money and um and so i felt i'm, I'm really trying to re recollect that experience um it was the I would say it is it was it felt like I met with the most innocent, beautiful, loving um child. I think that was the the, the feeling that I have when I received that download. Um, why did I say child? Because it's so innocent, supportive, enthusiastic so full of energy and so full of life and happiness so that's that's what i mean by by um it felt like a child like the most well-behaved loving child that's that's what it felt like when i received that transmission and that was maybe about two years ago i don't quite remember now and um but i do still remember how it felt in my body and of course I still have you know money problems and all that because the the my guides were actually trying to let me know that the spirit of money is actually very very different from my experience with money and they're trying to contrast and let me um, realize that the what I, my relationship with money was actually um, very out of line with what the, the spirit of money actually is. And when I'm not being, when I wasn't in the grips of the inverted matrix, and when I um, look more into what um, Emilia Ben's shared. Um, I actually want to share her website. Let's see. So um, her website, I think it's this one here. Okay, so this is her website. And if you look under the store, and then this is the free tools, there is, uh, even under the three tools, there's actually a lot of tools that we can use reconnecting with the spirit of money it is a, a great tool that um, you can all go and download um i think the the one about the personal and global manifestation that probably would be an interesting one to download as well and if you go into the blog post um i think it is this one here that turns out money is the ability to do and here is a money sigil so I encourage all of you to go to Anelia Ben's um, website and really check out 
all the the um, tools that he has there for for us. And so I'm going to share the 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 money sigil. So so listen to because um, in here there is a video and also the, the the transcript for what they talked about within the video. And then there is also a place to download the, the money sigil. So this is the money sigil. And, um, and also there is a write-up on how to use it as well. So really print it out, hold it in your palms, feel it, connect with it. And um, and place this sigil in places that you are going to see um, around your house. Put it in your wallet. However, you want to um, incorporate it in in your daily life, so that you can be reminded and come into contact with this sigil. Now, I have to say that I haven't like I because this is very recent so I can't really share with you what my experience with this sigil is yet but when I was looking at the the, the money sigil just trying to connect with it I really um, did feel very comfortable with this sigil so that's the only thing I can share in this moment <clears throat> however if this, if you take a look at all her, her material and if any of it really resonates with you, then please go ahead and use whatever it is that she has provided. And I actually want to go back to the, um, to reconnecting with the spirit of money because I think that's very important and I'm gonna share why. Um, <clears throat> so why, why is it important to reconnect with the spirit of money? Um, first thing is I already mentioned, our relationship with money currently is very much distorted by um, our experience, our, our own experience. And also the experience, the experience from our parents, from our friends, from most of the people that we are living in in the society. I would dare say that probably ninety five percent of the people that we we know, or ninety five percent of the human collective, have uh, a distorted um, relationship with money. Either we think them we think too highly of money or we um, really have a, a scarcity mentality, whether we have a, um, so our relationship with money right now is kind of out of whack. So how does reconnecting with the spirit of money um, help us? Is the, when we reconnect with the spirit of money, we are not, um, we don't just use, we don't just go into our head because our head is, is filled with a lot of the um, thinking around money. So all the, the thoughts around money is, you know, money is the root of evil or um, it's hard to make money. Money does not grow on tree money is dirty or money can it's very corrupt can corrupt you so all of these thought forms they are floating around so if we use our head in to to think through this it's not going to be as easy because um when we connect with the spirit of money with our body, with our energy. So, so because my my interest is really in energy, and I do find that when, um, like I can think all I want, I can release all I want, I can be in my head all I want, and as as fast as I can release a thought, another similar thought can come in 
somehow. However, when I do this energetically, when I really go and work with my body um, and connect with the nonverbal part, so it's really the nonverbal part that actually is um, more important because a lot of the, the, um, the downloads of the, uh, other people's programs or the, or the inverted matrix programs about or thought forms about money is downloaded um, through, through people that, that's around us really through our parents and also what we hear on, in, on the radio or television, our interactions with um, our friends and family. So when we go back to just using energy, just emphasizing the energetic part of it, we actually start to also um, get at and working with, with um, the, the spirit of money, we also start to get at the energetics of money and also get back to the, the, the non-verbal connection to money. So a lot of our um, memories, especially our connection to the way we, we store um, information passed down to us, through our parents, our grandparents, and also our grandparents, grandparents, all that, it may not be connected verbally. There may be some words that is a trigger. However, a lot of it is really emotional. And emotions is nonverbal. So when we use nonverbal ways of and, and connecting with the energetics the emotional part of it and letting that go and working it from that angle, it actually makes for, in my opinion, it makes for a deeper um, level of cleansing and letting go. So without really um, talking too much more, I actually want to share the reconnecting with the spirit of money However, it's really um, like I listened to Emilia's version and I actually um, come up with my own spin on it. So I just want to go through um, the, the structure of it first and then we'll, we'll do a process on this together. So if you haven't gotten it already, I just want to um, ask you to go and get some money, um, paper money or plastic money. Um, well, Canadian money is plastic money. So that's what I mean. Um, if you are in, in a different country, then it may be a paper money. So a um, money note is better than coins. So, so get some either $20 bill or $50 bills or $100 bills. The, the biggest um, denomination of um, money banknotes that you can get your hands on easily. And if you want to have that in your hands, that will actually make it more real with the, the process that we're gonna do in uh, shortly. So the... So connecting with the spirit of money is really hold the money between your palms so that you actually have a physical connection with money. Because if you just think about it, it is actually because we are live we are still living in um, this the dimension where matter. So we our body is uh, is matter, and right now. The, we still have physical money. So I actually want you to hold the money between your palms. So that's why um, a, a bank note uh, probably works better is to hold money between your palms and just breathe in pure love, I would suggest pure, or just breathe in infinite possibilities. 
whatever it is that works better for you. And do that, just do some breathing first. And so this, so this is really to calm yourself down and be more present and so that you can be in your heart before you do the rest. So hold the money and then do some breath work and then go into your heart. So connect with your heart and then also connect with yourself in this moment. So just as much as possible is to disconnect from all the mind chatter and just be in your heart. And then also connect with the money that you're holding in your hands and allow yourself to feel. So the intention is really to connect with money. And then notice what comes up and really do this for a bit. And it may take um, a couple of minutes to, to really allow what it is that comes up. So what may come up, um, you may, like anything that is in your, because you're connecting with money. So any conversations that is kind of in your unconscious mind about money, those things may come up. It may come up as a feeling. It could be a, an anxiety about money, or it could be a, a fear, or it could be a, a flash, um, like a memory or a vision of something that happened in the past about money. Those things may come up. So just allow them to come up. So, and also as those things come up, then um, kind of take a note of it because those would be the things that you want to release eventually. But for, for now, just allow yourself to notice. And once you have given yourself some time, then start to connect with Mother Earth and connect with the organic matrix. Just intentionally do that. And once you've connected with Mother Earth and the organic matrix that is, that is on Mother Earth, then connect with the spirit of money in the organic matrix. And then also notice what comes up. And you may find that there is a different conversation coming up with those. So that's what we're gonna do. Any questions before we actually go do this process? Okay, if not, then- um, are, you, are you going to guide us through this? Yes, I am going to, oh. yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay. So if no questions, then let's let's do this then. So I'm gonna 